So we are here uh, to deliver the news to the entire community that everybody's been waiting to hear. We've made an arrest. This man taken in for questioning yesterday, now under arrest. It's video you'll see only here on KCRA 3, live copter 3 capturing 21 year old Carlos Dominguez being put into the back of a patrol car and driven to the police station. Police now saying the former UC Davis student is suspected in the series of stabbings that kept the quiet college town on edge for the past week. Two men were killed. A woman was hurt in those three separate attacks that happened in less than seven days. And police are now saying that they have this suspect because people People in the community were on alert. They were watchful and they called in when they spotted Dominguez saying he matched the suspect description. We have live team coverage of his arrest. KCRA 3's Ty Steele is anchoring our coverage from Sycamore Park in Davis. That is the scene of the second stabbing and close to where officers first found the suspect. Ty. Yeah, today really is the news that everybody wanted to hear. But here at Sycamore Park, the site, the scene of that second deadly stabbing, it is a mixed state of emotions. Of course, relief that suspect has been charged in this case, but also utter sadness that so many lives were taken senselessly. One of those lives was 20 year old Kareem Abu Najam, a student here at UC Davis, just six weeks from graduation. Behind me, you see a growing memorial to him. Countless flowers, mementos, and notes, all wanting to honor his life. One of those notes reads, you were a shining light to your family, friends, and the community. I am so sorry. We are told he was the kind of guy that just wanted to make the world a better place. As far as the investigation, relief, of course, because the suspect, Carlos Dominguez, 21, is being charged with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. We go now to KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri. She's joining us live outside Davis Police Headquarters, where a press conference was held earlier today with the very latest on the investigation. And what happens next, Lizay? Because the work is far from over. Right, right. Now they've handed the case over to the DA's office, but today we heard from police about their part of the uh, case, their part of the investigation. We heard from the Davis police chief just a couple hours ago. He thanked his officers and he also really thanked the community for the tips, which he says ultimately led to an arrest in this case. We want to show you video of 21 year old Carlos Dominguez, who police were questioning yesterday just a block away from Sycamore. Park. That's the scene of the second deadly stabbing. Dominguez is now accused in all three that happened in the last week. He's charged with two murders and one attempted murder. And police again say it's largely thanks to people in the area who reported him to officers. Yesterday afternoon, we had about 15 colors over near central uh, West Davis near Sycamore Park, and they reported seeing a person who matched the description that we had provided after the third attack. All of them reported kind of the same thing. A person was at the park, was wearing the same clothing that we had put out in the description and that he was wandering around. The chief said a lot of the calls were coming in about certain locations after Dominguez had already left those places. But eventually one of the callers, a man we spoke with yesterday at the scene, actually followed the suspected serial killer and was able to lead police right to him. Police say they found a hunting knife in his backpack, similar to one they were looking for based on evidence from the first murder at Central Park. And they also say they believe his victims fought back based on physical evidence at the crime scenes. And they say Dominguez did have some injuries that were consistent with that as well. Police say he voluntarily came back to the station here yesterday to talk. They interviewed him here at the station for hours, although they wouldn't discuss what exactly they talked about in that time. And they still don't know why exactly he may have done any of this. They say they don't know what the motive is, and they'd say they don't have any evidence that he may have known any of his victims in these cases. Live here in Davis, Liz Amy Treat, KCRA 3 News. One can only guess at that motive at this point, Lizzie, but very scary that he still had that knife on him when he was caught not far from Sycamore Park. Do investigators think he was planning to strike again? They say at this point they don't know that. There are still a lot of unknowns, as you can imagine. Uh, we know he was currently living at in Davis at the time, but they believe maybe before then he was living in Oakland. And at this point, they don't uh, believe that he had a criminal history before this. So, yeah, still a lot of questions lingering, Ty.
Oh, yeah, so many questions. Still waiting for those answers. Lizzie, thank you. We go now to Live Copter 3 over the scene of the home of Carlos Dominguez, where he was living here in Davis. Of course, we know he was a former student as of last week at UC Davis. At this home that you were looking at right now, he did have roommates there. We go live now to KCRA 3's Danica Hill. She is outside of that home. She's been there for a few hours now. Danica, have you seen any of these roommates? Yeah, so unfortunately, no, we have not seen any of the roommates. All today we've seen is FBI agents and police going in and out of the home. Now, they did park a couple of vehicles in our line of sight, so we weren't able to see exactly what they were bringing out. Now, I've talked with several people in this neighborhood who say that they are students at UC Davis. They say that's what a lot of this community is in this neighborhood, is students of UC Davis. In fact, we know, as you said, Carlos Dominguez was a former student of UC Davis and lived here with his roommates. Now take a look at some of the video we shot earlier today. This is what the scene looks like for a good part of the day out here on 8th and Hawthorne. You can see the police presence and investigators in those white suits coming in and out of the home. This also drew a big crowd. More than a dozen neighbors were out, out here watching it all play out and hoping to get some answers. Some saying today's arrest is a sigh of relief and others saying they're still on edge. Until now, I felt safe going practically anywhere on my own, so I don't know if I'll feel the same amount of safety and certainty about where I go on my own. I'll probably, for a long time or the rest of my life, always want to go in groups. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm too scared to even go to the gas station right now or go to the grocery store to get food, so it's going to take a while. And back out here, live investigators are continuing to search that home. Another thing that was revealed in that press conference is that Dominguez did come back home in between all of those attacks. Now, we're going to stay out here and work to get more information on the evidence that has been brought out of the home. But so far, all we know is that this is the suspect's home and that they are conducting a search warrant. In Davis, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. We can only wonder what those roommates went through living with Carlos Dominguez. Danica, thank you. Let's take it back now for a timeline of how this all unfolded since April 27th. Last Thursday, when David, David Bro's body was found in Central Park, he was a well-known guy in the community, often called the compassion guy because he was so kind. Two days after that, Saturday night, 20-year-old UC Davis student Kareem Abu Najim was stabbed and killed right here at Sycamore Park. He was on his way home from an undergraduate award ceremony. His dad told us he was studying computer science and was set to graduate in just six weeks. And then on Monday night, a 64-year-old woman was stabbed through her tent multiple times at a homeless camp off of 2nd and L Streets. She is still in the, in the hospital. And live here at Sycamore Park, it has been profound to watch just so many community members coming to pay their respects to the victims, including Kareem Abu Najam, 20 years old, again, just six weeks from graduating and starting his life. We had talked with his father earlier this week, and we heard from him that he just wanted to make the world a better place with the skills he had learned as a student at UC Davis. So again, it's a very heartbreaking scene out here, but also uh, you can see and feel the sense of relief that suspect has been charged. For now, we're live at Sycamore Park. Ty Steele, KCRA 3 News. Lisa Eady, back to you. All right, Ty, thank you. And you can get the very latest on this case with the KCRA 3 app. Make sure you download it to your phone. It's free to download and enable the breaking news alert so you get any developments immediately.